Brick. A little bit shot comes through, so it's... They've swept the board here. Hirsch starts the opposite top scorer in last year's competition. They're all fired up, aren't they? Kossi and Falkenbach, one of the novices. The Libero, Zenga as well. And Andrea Gianni, 474 caps for Italy. An incredible 27 medals in an illustrious international playing career that lasted 13 years. Now, he's turned his hand to try to get Germany back to a seriously competitive level at the top of volleyball. So, Italian introductions. Uh, you look at the parties of 14 and you have to say that uh, the Germans star as the favourites here. Tradition means nothing when you cross the white line. Gian Lorenzo Lenghini in charge of Italy in the job four years now, took over from Mauro Beruto in 2015, silver at the World Cup. Well, that was the first big medal. And then, of course, Rio came along. Olympic silver, they just can't get the Olympic gold, the Italians. Of course, we are counting down to Tokyo. And this is a big uh, signpost on the way. Uh, how these nations are developing, BNL 2019. So Crick comes in, Box Polar as well. A sweep of the starting six for the uh, Germans. Antonov Ginelli, Candelaro as well makes a start. Kabuto too. So, having tested the waters on day one, this is match day two. It's a must-win match already for the Italians. Germany with a win under their belts, points on the board, and they will serve with the novice, Thomas Kossian Falkenbach. From on the pickup, Italy block. Working in this opening rally, and through comes Nelly to show his height and his power. Now then he started very, very strongly against Iran on day one, did Nelly. Keeping it up, that's the challenge for he and Italy here. Already we're having a challenge of the first point of the uh, match, block touch. Well, that was called initially, thus giving the point to Italy. So, an aggressive start, really. Challenge off the first point. Not often we see that. But uh, Germany's coach not happy off the bat here. So they want to see a clean out on the uh, replay, on this point for the Germans. Nelly comes through, tries to find that seam. So, a rather Unusual opening to this match. Challenge from Germany off the first point. And uh, already we have a slight delay to proceedings. He was so sure, the coach, that's why he's... Uh, well, made the call this early and he's been vindicated. So... The psychology of things is always so important in sporting contests. And it, it will remain a Germany service after the challenge off the first point. The correct to make the challenge. So Germany one to nothing. And straight away we're level. Antonov, wing side. 
leading the squad here in China in the absence of Monterrena and Zaitsev. Candelaro has come into the starting six. More experienced middle blocker from Trentino. Dig up, turn into the overpass from the uh, Libero, a chance for Italy. Quick push down. Roberto Russo. Sharply and in smartly. Got in, welcome back. Block rolls back over the Libero. And Italy making a really strong start. Candelaro again on service. Kossian Falcon back with the set. That's what they tried last time. This time, Max Poller got it down. New combination. Gossian Falcon back setting. Ruben shot as well. Wing spiker. Euro 2017 silver medalist. Angle of the hands not quite there from Bax Polar off the block that time. <laughs> the brilliant Gianelli. The young setter at 22 and already the owner of international medals in a, a four-year career for the Azzurri. From gets it past that first line of attack. Well dug up, though, by Balasso. Italian shot comes deep. There's the block again, but Germany score off that block touch. Full-blooded rally, and it's great to see so early in this match. 4-3 Italy, Germany back on serve. No backs, Perla. From spaces to lose, spaces to the club. Volleyball in France. Enjoyed that as well. Ace. Flight deceived the opposition. 4-4. Goes high this time back to Pola. There's Nelly. Strong power on the hit from Nelly. You always know there's a chance of a block touch, even if the kill isn't clean. Something very similar happened there off the first point. Antonov now. Galatasaray. Overhead set. Hirsch. Germany appearing efficient here in the opening stages. Gossian Falcon back, again gives it to Hirsch. They can't stop Hirsch. Run of points now coming from the opposite side for Germany. Good setting as well from the youngster, Thomas Gossian Falcon back. So, Simon Hirsch, top scorer for Germany in last year's VNL with 183 points. Volleyball in Italy. With power Volley Milano. Hey, 
dainty touch at the net there by Russo. Germany read it. 7-5 Italy. The hit was out. Overpass, that should be dumped down and is. Open goal, really, for Reste Cavuto. His first involvement. 8 5 Italy, first technical timeout. Italy just uh, committing at the net, but getting the point and opening up a lead here. On service now is Roberto Russo, the under-21 World Championship squad two years ago. Well, it's a good reception there and a, a nice transition. Textbook stuff, really, from Germany. Kossian, the Falcon back there, able to set nicely, bringing in Tobias Crick for the kill. Christian Fromm now, the big Berliner, 28 years of age. We'll be pushing over the 150 cap mark here in the uh, Volleyball Nations League 2019. All change lineup then. Both nations is working out better as we speak for the Italians. Nelly to serve. Rattle it down, way out wide as well. From able to receive it, and uh, a nicely measured touch there from Hirsch. Started from that, uh, well, withdrawn spot, wide of the sign line, back behind the three metre line, and they're benefiting from the setting here of Thomas Cossey and Falcon back. serve though <laughs> Arrested Cavuto now it's in his lead of four uh, cut that down to three Ruben shot there wing sides dance player Schnubi they call him got him Falcon back there's Gianelli look at that high set well it was bold from Gianelli to set to the opposite side 
that's where everything has to be working in tandem. Nelly just started his run just a, a touch early. And that's why he couldn't quite get over the spike and Germany were able to block it. Kossi and Falkenbach, 11-9. So they cut down the deficit to two here, Gianni's Germany team. Italy push out to three again. Well, in amidst the historical run of Italian success against Germany, there was a very important win for the Italians at the World Cup a few years ago. Not to mention Germany taking Italy down at Euro 2017. In competition they finished second in, whilst Italy were nowhere. Try and do it all again a little later this year as well at uh, the 2019 Euros. But it's a timeout here, called by Andrea Gianni, with his team being cut loose by the Italians. Service now for Italy from Davide Candelaro. German Libero receives it, Zenga. Gianelli will set, and Russo in to get it down very quickly and efficiently. Just very tidily done here. Russo was the first attacking option. Candelaro continues on serve. Belted down by shot. Well, that's a route to riches for Germany if they can keep working it to opposite side. Front row now from Hirsch. Backs Polar. Trailing by four. Booming serve. Block works. So second touch. Turned into that set for Hirsch. 14-11. Five times it, a German youth champion, Simon Hirsch. Service comes in from shot. A great pick up there from Cavuto. Sprawling forward from down the line. That's Nelly. Second touch from the Libero gives it back to Nelly with a give and go. And he absolutely thrashes that down the line. Oh, he drilled it. And that's what he can do when he's in the mood, Nelly. Watches it drop, monitors the position of the blockers and powers it down past both of them. Gianelli on service. Loops up and down. Germany in control. Christian Fromm goes long. And he hit that in that Difficult to defend area. Not exactly pitching it down and low. But the touch off the block just altered the trajectory and it slightly wrong footed the Italian libero, Fabio Balasso. Backs Pola. Uh, Gianelli again has to set it to 
Well, Antonov there blind, so this is a chance for Germany. That's the overpass. They'll get another go at it, yeah. And Hirsch finds the gap. Well managed, that rally from Germany. They stayed calm. Max Puller serves. Oh, did it drop in? Was it good? Ah, the German reaction suggests it was very good. You don't have to give it everything, do you, off service? As long as the flight is there, as long as the height is there, oh, wow. That's one for the scrapbook. Off the net that time. No, Lightning not striking twice. He tried to land it in the same spot there, Bax Perler. So you're looking then at uh, Oleg Antonov, Moscow born. Naturalized Italian. A rather underwhelming performance on day one, really, from Antonov, but so far so good here today. Sixteen fourteen is the score here in the first set in Jiangmen, China. Italy ahead on Germany. Antonov with three is the top scorer so far for the Azzurri. <laughs> Booming serve, which Germany can't defend, and they've pushed out the lead to three. Having enjoyed the best advantage of the set so far of five a little earlier. Antonov continues on serve. Off that, Germany get their side out. Substitution by Germany, number 16. Kostin Falkenbach is replaced by Linus Weber here. The switch is permitted per set. Weber. Showed enough that uh, he's one to watch in the match against the Chinese. It's 11 points on day one for Weber. There goes from again an intelligent shot from wing side. Just using that uh, residual contact off the blocker to just gently win the point. Save Zenga set up the chance. Just clever hitting the shot through the hands of that middle, the three blockers on the Italian side of the net. That's a, a ripping serve from Hirsch, but high stakes game. And you're going to lose it occasionally. Zimmerman, who was the first choice setter for Germany on day one comes in. So he's taken over duties from Kossi and Falkenbach. Not Hirsch is a wide player. Bounce back, back of communication again, costing the Germans dear.
fine blocking. They're just slow to react there, Germany. They take nothing away from the power in Cavuto's block. Angled serve, which Zenga picks up. There's Gianelli. Antonov in tight to the net. Yeah, that was always a danger with the quality or relative lack of it of the set from Antonov. Just committed Cavuto too far forward here. Two-point set at present. Great serve. Unreturnable. Unreturnable. They have been going for it a lot from the service line, these German players. Rightly using it as a weapon across the board. And it's got Gianni's Germany team to within a point now of the nation of his birth, Italy. Tight first set, great entertainment, great sport here in Jiangmen, China. Italy leading Germany, 1918. Germany serving with Christian Fromm. Ginelli on the set, that was very, very ambitious from Antonov, who's not quite on all cylinders, I would argue, here in China. Italy did have a five-point lead in this set, it's been erased. From... What a service again from Fromm. It will have to come back. But Lazzo does well to hoist that back into play. Italy blocking, and there's a chance actually to win the rally, which they make with Cavuto. Brilliant from Balasso, the uh, libero with a save off that German spike. Finally, the shot comes through the block, so... Italy doing just enough again to remain in the lead. From replaced by David Sossenheimer. <laughs> Nelly. The reception is the overpass. The real full blooded serve there, which results again. On the Italian wing side with Oreste Cavuto scoring. And right at the end of the set, he finds himself on the wing as the go-to finisher for Italy. Germany timeout. Will he land it? This service from Nelly. Twenty-one nineteen is the score. Oh, he does land it, Nelly! 
absolutely superb. An extra set of a service here from Gabriele Nelli. So Italy just tiptoe on. And then have to take a step back. Gaps two. Fascinating opening set here. First match of the day. China will play Iran later. Nelly. Cross he comes. Oh, he needed to land that. Germany with a chance now, but the overpass gives the ascendancy back to Italy. Liners Weber in there. Another overpass. Zimmerman sent it over. They should land this. Samsonov comes in. Pipe finish. And that will do Antonov good. Just to land a kill like that. 23-20. They are doing just enough here. Carlo Spatoli comes in. Caputo rotated out. Spatoli the setter. And a Mediterranean Games champion last year with an Italian selection. So it's for his service capabilities that he's been rotated in. That's what he can do. He's put Germany on the back foot, but there's a chance here which is brought back over. Shot with the chance to keep Germany in the set. Couldn't take it. Oh, Candelaro gets real rubber the green on the angle there. Doesn't he just? Off that clever serve. Spatoli goes again. No. One set point down. Another to come. So Hirsch and Kossin Hulken back, back in. <laughs> and that's the set. A rather <laughs> underwhelming finish to it. The service fault from Kossin Hulken back. But Italy let a big lead slip in that set. Germany came back at the Azzurri. But right at the end, Italy just uh, lifted through the gears and Antonov found some finishing prowess. And Italy have taken the opening set here against Germany, 25-21.
是你们会看到排球的品质呀、啊，我们运动员坚毅不放弃。啊，如果让孩子看到呢，也是一个对他的人格的建立，也是一个很好的帮助的，因为我们可以直接体验到，他们在生活中以后遇到什么挫折，也会像我们运动员一样的坚毅不放弃的。同时，现场也有很多的英文。小朋友看到了这一些，他们自己也会对英文、对这个世界有更多的了解。所以欢迎大家带你的朋友，或是带你的小朋友一起来到现场看比赛，一起来支持我们排球，来一起支持我们中国男排。谢谢大家。Welcome back to the court. 我们用掌声欢迎我们双方运动员回到场地。掌声听不到哦。We're all good to go then. At the start of the second set here between Germany and Italy. Day two of the Volleyball Nations League. All the men, the women, already well engrossed in their competition. Six matches played. But this is the opening weekend for the men's teams with pools being played all across the world here in Jiangmen, China. Italy they lost their opening match on day one against Iran. They're off to the best possible start here against Germany. The setup serving in the second with Antonov. Service fault though. So Germany one up as they were at the very start of the match. They won. The opening point, and then didn't lead again in the set. Kosian, Falcon back on serve, rattles it over, received by Oreste Cavuto. Russo taking the ball early before it could reach Cavuto on wing side. There's shot who goes deep. Gianelli for Cavuto, clever shot down the line. From with an improvised set from back court there. Uh, from the back court defender, and they were a little bit too casual there with Bax Pola. Just trying to tip it over. Aggressive blocking, aggressive defense from Italy. This was a, a cracking rally. Italy won the first set in last year's Volleyball Nations League meeting between the two as well in Serbia. On that 25-18. 25-21 was the first set scored this year. Italy took the second in that match as well at 25-19. Germany then came back in set three. All very tight sets. For Italy, took the fourth. Service faults being exchanged. Ruben shot. Scored four points all in in last year's contest. Gianelli, nice quick set, good combination. Fabulous blocking there from Germany. Back over for Gianelli, you can't dig that up. Germans enjoyed that one. Hershey eventually celebrates the point, running an Italian defence ragged. Shot serves again. That time it's long. 
way long as well. Gossie and Falcon back. And Cap coming into this competition along with Tim Peter, who we may see at some stage. Reserve wing spiker. Balasso, the uh, libero, first point of contact there. Cavuto, wing side. Nicely does it again. Just a, a gentle finish there. Didn't need to hit it with power. Bumping the shot, really, against the defensive arm of Hirsch. Nelly, oh, with one of those rifle serves from first point of defence and last point of the attack there from. Scores off the block. Four three for Germany, and they're serving. Ginelli over the head to Nelly. Oh. Stop that time by Fromm. Didn't take his eyes off Nelly for one second there. Combination again. There's force in the spike on that occasion from Nelly. Orest Cabuto serving for Italy. He'll be disappointed. Just a little bit of momentum given up. 6-4 Germany. To that from Hirsch, was it? So what can Davide Candelaro do? Kossian Falcon back, good set. There is real potential in the Kossian Falcon back being the German setter. That time Tobias Crick came in to blast the shot down through that Italian seam. They need to use his height, two metres 11 of him, Tobias Crick. <laughs> From rattles over the serve, it's just inches out. Yeah, not the required dip. Very tight set. We're running at a, a one-point margin here. Again, that's composed. When they're in full control of the rally there, they can be very smooth. Simon Hirsch was the target. They got the ball down on the floor for 8-6 Germany. First technical timeout of set two here.
Now a back spoiler. Four points for Germany here. And two points off service as well. He's a real all-rounder. Didn't feature in the opening match against Iran. But slowly but surely, they're becoming a more familiar outfit over the course of the week here in China. Ah, oh, this German national selection. Soft one that. Italy enjoyed it. Germany not quite to back and in the zone after the timeout. Oleg Antonov on service. Need to clip the tape. Falcon back there with a useful set in for Ruben Schott. Nelly. Three blockers there for Germany, back it comes. Look at the way they fan out the, the men in black at the net there. There was a chance of a block touch. Yeah, that's what they wanted. That's what they're calling for. Initial decision went to Germany's way, i.e. they were given the point for a clean out. But it's often the way, isn't it? You can tell by that player reaction, they know. They're down in the heart of it. They know if... A, a touch off the block has been executed. See Nelly turning around there and Gianelli, they're looking across, asking their coach, Blengini, to put the challenge in, which has happened. Fingers are oh, bent back, aren't they? So it was correct to challenge. Up. Good call, mate. Russo. Oh, Kossi and Falcon back. You could say he sort of set off just a, a nanosecond too late, but he was the only one who, who realised that that bump wasn't going to make it over the net. From receive service. Kossi and Falcon back there to shot. Italy managing to to push the ball back over. That right under the nose of our first referee here. Yeah. So it's a block touch challenge here from Germany. what we saw just a few moments ago. The point being awarded to Italy. Germany feeling incorrectly. No touch. Sometimes. Very difficult to tell, even on the super slow-mo down replay, isn't it? Well, he 
certainly leads from the front, doesn't he? Simone Gianelli, the young Italy skipper. Shot serves, it is 10-9. Down we go with Candelaro. 10-10. Nelly rattles that serve it from who got it up and then Nelly on reception from Cossi and Falcon back and then there's Hirsch over the headset Hirsch running around anticipating and doing what needed to be done there for Germany Max Polar, very long with that serve, not even close, I'm afraid. Oreste Cavuto, he only made his debut against Japan last week in the pre VNL friendlies that Italy arranged. serve of Cavuto, it's ended up being a Germany side out. Hirsch. Balasso with the reception there. And Italy win that point ugly. Candelaro, serve received by shot. The touch has to come up, Hirsch from back over the three-metre line with a power swing. That's two super spikes in a row from Simon Hirsch. Thirteen twelve. Christian Fromm serves for Germany. Push up by Antonov, Gianelli, Antonov runs round to find that gap. The wide players just fanned out at the worst possible moment there on the German side of the net. And that allowed the room. There steps one way. Max court. Back court, Max Polar steps the opposite way. And that enabled Antonov to find the floor. Captain Gianelli serves. <laughs> Germany side out. So Gianelli, yeah, quick AB set, but Russo couldn't get the ball down. It was perhaps the right shot in the circumstances, but it was well defended. And Antonov. Germany get it back. Gianelli bumping that. Balasso tight in on the net. And then Nelly goes long. Well, they were using every inch of the court there, Italy. They've challenged it. 
Could have been either that, the block touch or the in out. Nelly went to the opposite apex, tight in on the net after that wonderful set. High octane stuff. Both nations are running out of challenges. It's the block touch challenge, after all. So Nelly's shot was long, but was it clean long? Bent back the finger of Baxpola, so there was a block touch. And it will be an Italian point after all. Again, that instant reaction. Players just wheel away and they're immediately gesticulating and tapping their fingers. You sort of know then, really. Nicely does it. Vax Pola having uh, block touch the last shot. Responds in kind, scrubs that one out with the point of his own for Germany. Third touch from over the three meter line, Cavuto delivers with power and Gianelli gives it to Cavuto that time less of an angle to work with but that was a punch down <laughs> 15 all in a while since Italy are leading Germany with all the advantages they've worked hard to give themselves just can't pull for forward they can't extend out beyond a lead of one Rousseau, flat serve there into Zenga. Germany transition, impressive there. So, Simon Hirsch then, top scorer for Germany in last year's VNL. And uh, doing what he can as well today. Double figures for the day. Ten attacks, ten points. That's how they want to use him. Rattling serve by shot there. Cavuto drops it over the top. And shot again comes in for the pipe finish. Superb defense from Italy. And again, it's Candelaro digging in. Gianelli. Then Cavuto goes long. Set from Falkenbach. Oh, Gianelli, the grease in the wheels, keeps it going. And finally, Cavuto sends the shot cross court for the score. 16s now. Cavuto working the point off the block. Nelly. Case for a leave there. Comes Candelaro. Just sense that Italy is stepping up. 
come in for the big moments today, Davide Candelaro. The biggest lead either side has had in this match has been two points. That was Germany when they led 7-9. Ever since, there's just been a single point in it. An indication of how finely matched these two teams are. Italy took the opening set here in uh, Jiangmen today. 25-21. Lead by one now, 17-16 in the second set. Gossian Falcon back, another useful set. And playing in Bax Polar, who's really come to the fore. Overpass, and Germany chance there, which they were never going to let up. All it needed was alertness from the middle blocker over the top of the net, and Crick was exactly that. It's from the overpass, it's then difficult to get your defensive blockers stationed in the time it takes for the ball to travel the other side of the net. No, there's going to be at least one opponent there to, to hit it. Bax Polar now at 18-17 Germany. There's Nelly, no stopping that. Nelly steams it again for the Azzurri. Smashing home his ninth point of the match. Kabuto, rattling serve. Kossian just scoops that ball from almost on the top of the net and into play. Germany block it back. Balasso dumps that into the three meter zone. It's back with Germany and from. That ball was dropping in, so on we go. Hirsch finally hitting it firm. Opposite side finish there from Simon Hirsch. 1918, this is high quality stuff. Linus Weber into the rotation now with Germany on service. We've had a timeout as well, called. Sensitive time in the second set. Simon Hirsch will serve. Germany trailing by one here. But this will be a colossal swing. If Italy can make it two sets to love or, or one apiece, who will hold their nerve here? Antonov crowded out. That's a fabulous save from Gianelli. How did he do that? 
Cavuto. And Gianelli gives it to Antonov, blocked back, and Germany go too clear. And that, in the context of this set, is a big lead. And what a time to establish it as well. But Gianelli, that's why there's so much hype about this young player. Hirsch will continue on serve. Antonov on the follow-up. Balasso to Gianelli. Production line came over the head, almost set up blind there, Nelly. Gianelli. That's going to be an overpass. Who's going to win the joust? Antonov, more by luck than judgment for Italy. They go to the tip. Oh, and that's such poise and perfection from Antonov. Keeping a calm head when perhaps others around him were losing theirs. Tempts the three blockers in. And then drops the shot on the floor. One to enjoy there for Oleg Antonov. That's a pick-me-up for Italy. What a contact that is. Nelly gets there. It's a fabulous touch from Weber. Gianelli, Antonov goes long. Saved there by Ruben Schott. Linus Weber. Oh, the Italy blocker again. Gianelli and Russo, a third, comes to add. Wait to the block, but Germany read it. 21 plays 19 now. That was just a, a lovely drifted hand. Fabulous attacking and fabulous defence before finally the uh, point was secured. Classy again from Fromm, as it had been from Antonov moments earlier. Christian from oh. part of the squad that won a gold medal at the European Games indoor volleyball competition in Baku 2015. And it will take off the uh, program for the next European Games event, which gets underway in just a few weeks, weeks' time in Minsk, Belarus. From with an ace. So we're going to wind back the uh, tape to see if there was a floor touch off service reception. A magnificent attempt at digging it up. So the call here is that Italy prevented the floor touch, whereas Germany feel that that was a, an ace serve. Well, it's a dig, isn't it? Yeah, no floor touch. So that means we'll have to replay the point. Good call, sir. These little moments can provide a big pivot in the 
course of a set or match from will have to have the service again at 21.19. That's what happens. The concentration wavers a little bit. So successful challenge, which got the point replayed, and then Brom rattles the service straight out. So from 22-19, had that service not been challenged, it's now 21-20. Three to one point swing is huge. Italy can hold serve, they will be level as this second set enters its end game. Riccardo Spatoli has been ro rotated in. We saw it at the end of the first set for his power from the service line. Oh. Ruben shot though, restores that advantage for Germany. Totally rotated out. Off the service from Tobias Crick. Until he get the side out. 22 21. They've used both timeouts in the uh, last three or four minutes, so Andrea Gianni just being very cute with this, making them count, I suppose you would say, rather than tweaking things a little bit earlier in the set. Two twenty-one for Germany here, second set. Italy took the first 25-21. Day two of action in Jackmen, China. Day two of the three days play. In this round robin group. Giacomo Raffaelli only had a few minutes court time. And, uh, the first match against Iran. of anti-climax. Antonov serves into the net and just pushes the opposition on towards the winning of the set. Thomas Kossian Falcon back now. Cabuto, Gianelli over the headset. There's Nelly. Back to a gap of one. That 18 combination. Gianelli to Nelly. Testing serve. And Zenga, the Libero, first off received it. Couldn't dig out finally, though, at the end of the rally. Too late in stepping forward, but very difficult to read the flight off that third contact. Wow. 23 all.
Chance for Germany here, blocked back! Amazing scenes as Italy from absolutely nowhere find themselves at set point. Talk about raising your game when it matters most. Monster block and more from Oreste Cavuto. And Germany will uh, look across to the sidelines, will look around at one another and wonder just how they are now defending a set point. That they've done, though. 24s. Very tense and exciting. Christian from. He's back on. And the big guns try and do the honours for Germany here. Ruben shot serves. Into the net. Another set point for Italy. Well, that expression nip and tuck, just look it up in the dictionary and uh, we just get given details of this match and this set. Nothing to choose between the two, it's very tight, they're evenly matched. Nelly on serve. Service faults in succession from opposite service lines. And that means we're at 25 all in this second set. Gianelli, nice high set there, Cavuto up and down, high and low, that's the way to go for Italy. 26 to 25 now, set point number three for the Azzurri. Quite incredible, isn't it? Cavuto thumps the serve at set point into the net, and all that advantage dissipates once more. Fascinating to uh, observe the psychology. 27 26, Italy have set point number four. It's all because of service faults from the more established servers and the less experienced ones. Candelaro goes safe this time, but it's a chance for Germany. Oh, an opportunity to kill. The quality of the digger wasn't really there from Nelly. If they could have got that bump, if Nelly could have re retrieved, and that might have been second set Italy. So Germany now serve at 27 all. Big chance with From at the levers. Gianelli for Nelly. Oh, that's another beat down from Nelly. He's had another very good match. Of course, to be top scorer again with 11. Actually, level with Oreste Cavuto. And of Italy's top point scorers so far today. Now, what can the captain do at set point? Lands it safe. That's the crucial thing. 
another set point saved. Hirsch rising to the challenge. Rick on surf there, it's 28 all. Ah, oh, and the strength of the shot again from Nelly. Again, not clean, two blockers there. Enough power in the shot, though, to get through the block, to get through the hands. And kill it, stone dead. Before that bump touch from Germany. Sixth set point for the Italians. Third touch has to come over. It's got to be a good one. It's a tap. Real chance now for Italy. Who are they going to get it to? The answer is Nelly. Germany blocking right at the very death here. And Italy block back in turn and take the set after all. Big celebrations there for Nelly, who became a big, big player for them. As that second set got more tense and more exciting and more finely balanced. There were some interesting calls as well. But Hawkeye, think back to the from a serve that was challenged and then we wound the tape back. And there was no floor touch. I think Italy took a fair bit of heart from that. Finally, it was a real good chance to keep the rally going. And it was blocked back. And Italy are able to celebrate a two set advantage. It was a, a roller coaster in set two. It went to 30. Italy took it. And on top of that 25 21 performance in set one, Italy need just the one more set here to sweep Germany. So just looking then at Germany's setter contact points then in that second set. And likewise, the Italians keeping it opposite side, mainly playing to the strengths of the Gabriele Nelli. There he is, the 25-year-old from Toscana, Tuscany, plays with Trentino. One or two of this German squad have had experience playing in Italy. One well, of the top volleyball leagues, we know it's a 
hotbed of the uh, club scene. Italian teams contested the World Club Championship final late last year in Poland. Oreste Cavuto plays for one of them, Trentino. Set number three, underway then. Germany on serve, but a long way back into this match for Germany. The two sets down into this recovery operation after the four set defeat to Iran on day one, well and truly underway. Overpass, Germany throw down. Bounced off one or two Italian hands on the way down, but that's going to be a score. Another one for Germany. Thomas Kossian, Vulcan back. No. Risky serve, power serve. Video challenge by Germany. Boy in or out. The order is to be a Well, what a career he had as a player, Andrea Gianni. And at a time when Italy just dominated the scene, really. Incredible 27 medals he won in 13 years playing for the Azzurri. Three times a world champion, two Olympic silvers as well. The merest clip. That's all you need, though. Ace and a retrospective one. So, rather than 2-1, it's 3-0. on the back for one of the newcomers at the start of this third set, Anton Bremer. 19 years of age from Leipzig. Standing middle blocker. They've not used Bomer at all since at set one here. Back to Polo and Crick. More fancied middle blocking partnership. Gianni's trying something new here. So far, in set three, it's working. Davide Candelaro serves. Oh! Germany really mean business here. A couple of quick points for Bremer. Ruben shot serves, clips the tape. Enough power to push it through and over the net, though. Nelly off the block. 5-2 now. Simone Gianelli serves. Well, it's a rattling serve, no getting it back. I do wonder if it was actually going to land in, but... The speeds are such that... Can't really risk it. Better off playing it. Here he goes again. Italy's young gun. 
Overhead set on the German side. Hershey's shot pushed back. Kossian gives it to Fromm, who finds clear open court. Cleverly placed, uh, expertly done from Christian Fromm. Going to have a challenge here by the looks of things at seven. Place three in Germany's favour. Set three here. Uh, straightforward in out challenge. Been a number of successful challenges both today and yesterday. From ah, block back. Yeah. Well, as strong as from is, the Italians just worked out a way to to keep him at bay when he's stuck out on wing side. Three bodies there. That's how to block. Antonov now. Gossi and Falcon back. Nice tidy set. And that gives Crick the chance to kill. Seven five Germany here. And Hirsch just in the delay loses that vital bit of concentration. He completely flails the serve. Russo. That needed to be a save over the top of the net from uh, Gossi and Falcon back. That's given the advantage back to the Italians. And although Nelly was blocked, there was power in the shot. Well, a big player potentially for Italy in the VNL. Club World Champion last December with Trentino, with Oreste Cavuto. She got the better of one of their teammates, the Libero Balasso of uh, Lube in the final. From down the line, he's missed it. He's missed it. Just the way the, the pendulum swings from one side to the other in the course of a volleyball match. And, it's away from Germany at present. So Italy's main man then, Gabriele Nelli. 14 points today to go with the 19 as he top scored against the Iranians. Junior European champion way back in 2012 with the young Italian squad. Four years now in the senior team and a big part of it. Welcome back to the court. 
观众朋友们，我们现场非常的精彩啊！现在比分八比七。Moment of celebration there from Gabrielli Nelly. Rick Large is how the Italians have approached this match against Germany. Full stop. He needed a a big pick me up after the disappointment of the Iran match. Having worked hard to. Claw back the deficit, just get themselves a one point advantage. Service fault makes it eight all. Christian Fromm now serves. It's sloppy from the Italians. 9 8. Christian Fromm was a junior European champion with Germany 11 years ago. He's 28 now. Euro silver medalist 2017 at European Games gold from Baku. One of the last survivors from the World Championships got of 2014. Won a brilliant bronze for Germany. Kossian Falcon back. There's Ruben shot. Kossian Falcon back finally with the third touch over and again dumped down. But Italy have read it. Just sharper on the block and confusing the opposition to the extent they don't know which way's north. As that final touch was bumped back towards from Italy just. Reacting quicker, reacting better at the net. 10-9 now. Nelly, still on serve for Italy. The, the flat of the hand, a, a different delivery style. Certainly not the outcome they wanted. 10 10. Quick throw down by Gianelli, but they read it. Ah, they read the, the pickup, put it that way. Everyone has to be attuned, everyone has to be singing off the same song sheet, if you will. Germany weren't quite there. That's the, the communication issue, really, that you get when you've got a six out there that haven't played together that often. Kossian Falcon back for Hirsch, and that is a brilliant block. A monster, if ever there was one, from Antonov. Gets his hands high, pushes the block back and into clear open court. Want to enjoy. Yeah, they just just got out of sync in that rotation there, front court. 13-10 is the score, Italy leading this after Germany scored the first four points of the match.
Oreste Cavuto on service for Italy. The lead is three. Nelly, third touch from Antonov. Missed the blockers altogether there, Antonov. Germany side out. Good serve that from Cotty and Falcon back, but in fairness, well received by Balasso. So always on the back foot there in that rally. Giannelli, quick set to Candelaro, but Germany just locked in there in the middle of the net. None shall pass. Kossian Falken back again on service for Germany. It's picked up, they've given it to Nelly. He can't get the ball on the floor. That's a, a fabulous piece of defense there from Kossian Falken back. Finally, though, there's too much power behind it till he's attacking. And they will edge into the lead again at 14 13. A shame for them after that fabulous defense there. Look at that. Kossian Falken back, stopping Nelly. Antonov off two sets of blocking hands really confirms that Italy are back at the races. They have arrived here in Jiangmen, China. Successfully wiping out the memory of the defeat to Iran. Candelaro at 15-13. That's floated long. Oreste Cavuto, 14 points for the day. It's a, a big couple of weeks for Cavuto, as they're without the uh, top names in the squad Italy. So the likes of this young wing spiker from Trentino are going to be called upon more. 
in Nelly. They're leading the way for Italy today. Italy block not coming together quick enough there. Anton Bremer now, the 19 year old from Leipzig. Good serve that from Bremer. Uh, first touches the overpass. Great power on the service. And Hirsch helps Germany come back level again. Italy were beginning to see a route through towards the end of this set, but there's still work to be done. Bremer. Again, ambitious with the service, goes very long. First one worked, second one didn't. So out he goes. Antonov. Shot on the end of the attack. Nothing tidy about it. Didn't need to be. So, changes in the rotation. Raffaele for Italy. And Linus Weber, the opposite for the Germans. 17 all. Hirsch on serve. And Gianelli uh, gave it to Nelly. It's a difficult one, though, to, to execute, difficult one to finish. Simon Hirsch. Gianelli to Nelly. Went very long with it. Yeah, they got it right. Oh, they're operating right on the edge there with the spiking of Gabriele Nelly. He's the man with the weaponry, really, for Italy. Jan Zimmerman rotated in for Simon Hirsch. Into the net and over. No ace there. Crick. Nice straightforward kill. Quick set there, the key. Slightly different tactic, Zimmerman has come in for. Gossi and Falcon back. Cushioning that serve a little more, uh, that set a little more gently. From Gianelli to Nelly, taps down. Yeah, 
that's part of the decision making process knowing when to to give it the full hammer and knowing when to just hold back a bit Nelly did the latter there 22 year old David Sossenheimer from MKS Beijing and Poland comes on Nineteen all. Set number three. Gabrieli Nelly serves. Gianelli, quick set, comes in from Cavuto. Down on the floor, Germany not quite out. We're all square. So for the serving, they call on Spatoli. Substitution each replacement has to be correctly logged. Spatoli for Cavuto. For how many points? We shall see. But with Italy on serve, they want to hold on to this advantage. And after all that, Service fault. So it's 21 20. And favor off, Zimmerman off. Hirsch back in. Cossi and Falcon back, back in. for Germany is the score. They were 22-20 up in the previous set and lost it. Ruben shot, Kossi and Falcon back. The block from Bremer. Well, the block on the shot from Bremer, I should say. But Germany do win the point and have this advantage that enough for them last time out might it be now in set three Kossian Falcon back big serve there Nelly oh, wow, on another day that drops over Italian side didn't there though Brute force from Nelly.
Garcia and Falcon back there with the set. Oh, it's an Italian point. Wow, 22 all. Big chance there. Big chance for Germany to push on out to a lead of two. So Candelaro at 22 all on serve, one of Italy's stronger servers. Well, no double touch there, off the block, and then first touch in the rally. And then somehow, Nelly has found a touch off the block around the outside. Well, which way is this going to fall? So Nelly, look at the spin on that. It's curving away from the game line. What a brilliant hit. So, a big push needed over the course of the next five minutes or so. On both sides of the net, Italy. They want a sweep of Germany. Germany have had this set in the palm of their hand on many occasions. But somehow they find themselves trailing here. It's 23-22, the Italian block working. Already that decision was being called in Italy's favour. And we're at match point. The way Italy have managed sets two and three here has been really outstanding. Just getting themselves ahead on the scoreboard only when they've needed to, namely at the end of the sets. Candelaro to serve. German Libero picks it up, but they're all a bit tentative here. And the shot comes through the block, but bounces out. So one match point saved. Now Germany will have to do it all again on their own serve. Ruben shot. Russo. Gianelli. Nelly buries it. Italy win in three here against Germany. It's a brilliant recovery from the Azzurri squad after the four set defeat that Blengini's team suffered on the opening day to Iran. And Germany, who came through a five set marathon with China, have now followed it up 24 hours later with another defeat at the hands of the Italians who continue their wonderful run in this fixture in world-level tournaments. Italy got it done in really business-like fashion today. They will scratch out the uh, defeat to Iran. They come through here in three straight sets against the old enemy, Germany. Nelly was the hero. 25-21, 30-28. Twenty-five, twenty-three. It was tight, but Italy got the job done. There we go, first match of the second day in Jiangmen, China, and Italy have beaten Germany in straight sets. Still no victory for Germany at a world-level event against the Italians since 2003 in the World League that year. 
So the wait continues. Italy were professional and they got the job done in impressive fashion here.